Naume waogi, ukishika maji ya mama ni kofi. Yo maisha ngumu bana. Okay, so for many years, communities living around Lake Victoria Basin heavily relied on fishing for their livelihoods. But changing climatic conditions and the prevailing harsh economic times have heralded a new dawn, one where residents are now turning to other income-generating activities to air out a living. Mary Mwaki visited Homer Bay County along the shores of Lake Victoria and now tells us a tale of men and women who have shunned fishing for farming and pottery. This hyacinth has become a nightmare for the fishing community around Lake Victoria. Gradually but steadily, it has become the bane of their existence. These waters were once teeming with fish before the advent of the hyacinth. The fishmongers had enough to feed their families and surplus to sell. But not anymore. Nancy Akot is one of the few who are relying on fish for a living. <laughs> She gets to the show every day before the crack of dawn in a bid to better her chances of bagging a day's catch, seeing the demand for fish is quite high, but the supply is dwindling by the day. Nancy says in the past fish was never in short supply, but with the hyacinth taking up more and more fish breeding sites, then fishermen and fishmongers are increasingly casting their nets aside and looking for other ways to sustain their livelihoods. With the current situation as it is, Nancy says she is considering venturing into farming to consolidate her fortunes. <laughs> An officer in the fisheries department in Rachuonyo sub-county, Kevin Ouko, says the county has embarked on a program to help the community practice fish farming to ease pressure from the lake. The county has also demarcated breeding zones in the lake where fishermen are not allowed to fish in order to allow the fish to regenerate. We work within the Lake Victoria to help our people know the fish breeding areas, control the illegal fishing that may have been taking place that have caused reduction in fish. Farming has for a long time been associated with fertile highlands and colder climates, but dwindling fortunes in Lake Victoria and the ever-increasing hyacinth has spelled doom for fishing, a venture that was once considered lucrative by residents along the shores of Lake Victoria. In a bid to adjust and make a living away from fishing, residents have resorted to agribusiness and other income generating activities for their livelihoods. Perhaps those decrying low fish supplies can borrow a leaf from Zay Joshua Okundi, his lush farm teeming with all kinds of farm produce. Okundi was by his own admission a poorly paid teacher. He stumbled into farming by a stroke of luck four years ago after attending a chance meeting organized by Pathfinder International on nutrition and alternative sources of livelihood. He threw himself at it with the vigor of a man half his age. We tried and it worked. Okay. So that's why I, it compelled me also to come and do something about it. Okundi says his living standards have greatly improved ever since he traded the chalk for the hoe. He has been able to not only earn a decent income from the many farming activities he runs here, he's also providing employment to a number of people who work on his farm. Even when the month is at a crucial moment, it can go above that or beyond that. You can see I'm keeping very expensive animal there and now I am driving. This integrated farming method is just one of the ways a local NGO is encouraging residents here to embrace. In the next village, we find these women busy engaging in pottery. Most of them were fishmongers, but turned to this when the lake could no longer feed them and their families. Evelyn Ajuanga, project manager with Pathfinder International, says the program is aimed at relieving the environmental pressure that communities along the shores exert on the lake. Some of them are doing some activities like tree nurseries, which also they're being supported through the forest uh, ministry to support them. And others are doing businesses. 
For years, fishing was the main economic activity for communities living along the shores of Lake Victoria. But with the dwindling supply of fish in the lake, the locals have resorted to farming and other sources of income generating activities. Mary Mwoki, KTN News.